Close met Harvey discussed his first start at Great American Ballpark as a red and tying a season long with six innings pitched to earn his first win with his new club. The inquirer, Bobby Nightingale it seemed like sound strategy. First base was open. The Pirates walked Joey Voto, the Reds' best hitter, to load the bases and set up the double play. But sound strategy does not always work, in this case, it blew up when Scooter Jennett hit the next pitch out to right field for a grand slam and turned a one-run game into a semi-blowout. The Reds went on to beat the Pirates 7-2 before a crowd of 16,144 at Great American Ballpark Tuesday night, it definitely makes sense for why they did, Janet said. Joey is, in my opinion, the best hitter in the game, so I didn't take it personally or anything like that, in that situation, I like getting up there with the bases loaded. Earlier in my career that I probably would have tried to be selective and put a good at bat together, rather than realizing they're not going to try to walk me with the bases loaded, being aggressive is, in my opinion, the way to go in that situation. He threw a pretty good pitch. I was just able to put a good swing on it, Matt Harvey pitched six innings of one run, three hit ball for his first win as a red. Harvey threw 93 pitches, 63 for strikes. He only allowed two base runners after the first. Cincinnati Reds starting pitcher Matt Harvey, 32, throws against the Pittsburgh Pirates in the first inning at Great American Ballpark. Photo, Aaron Doster USA Today Sports Janet continues to show that last year was not a fluke. He drove in six of the Reds' seven runs. He is hitting .324 and on pace for 26 home runs and 109 RBI. Over his last 20 starts, Janet is hitting .390 with 8 home runs and 26 RBI. It's just baseball, Janet said. There's ups and downs. I could go in there and look at video of the times I don't do good or strike out. But lately, I've been looking at the times I do good, just trying to feed myself positive thoughts and vibes. This is a game of failure. For me lately, I've looked at the stuff when I am doing good, Harvey had to escape a jam of his own making in the first. Gregory Polanco singled with one out. Harvey, who had not a walk to batter in his first two starts as a red, then walked Francisco Cervelli and Josh Bell back-to-back -to, -back to load the bases. But Harvey got Corey Dickerson fly out and struck out Colin Moran to end the threat, I think being my first home game, I was a little amped up in the first, Harvey said. I got all out of sorts. That could have gone the wrong way obviously. The mound visit, I was able to catch my breath and settle in. The fly ball was huge. Then to dial it and get the strikeout, from then on I stuck with catcher Tucker Barnhart. He called every pitch and I just trusted him, the Reds took the lead in their half of the first Barnhart, in the second spot, singled. An out later, Janet hit one right center that Polanco took a circuitous route to. It fell for a double. Barnhart scored from first. That brought up Eugenio Suarez to face Jamison Talon. In the last meeting, Talon hit Suarez on the right thumb, costing him 17 days on the disabled list. Suarez got a bit of revenge with an RBI double to left to make it 2-0, the Pirates cut the lead in half in the fourth. Harvey got ahead of Moran 0-2. The next pitch was a waste pitch, a chest high, 95 mph fastball. Moran went up and got it, hitting it out to right for his fourth home run, I don't know how he hit it, Harvey said. The UNC luck. Both guys are tar heels. I got him once. He got me. Somehow he got a good swing on it, the Reds opened up in the fifth. Jose Peraza singled with one out. 
Bernhard doubled, the Pirates intentionally walked Bodo. It was his 135th career intentional walk, tying with Johnny Bench for all-time Reds lead, Talon hung an 86 mph changeup on the next pitch. Gannett hit it about dozen rows up into the seat in right field for his eighth home run of the year and his sixth career grand slam, getting through six was a major step for Harvey. He had gone four in each of his first two starts for the Reds. I can't remember the last time I went six innings and didn't give up a ton of runs, he said. It was nice. Good to go out after the first inning and settle in. I think of everything Scooter did. Putting up all those runs helped me go out and attack. I stuck with Tucker the whole time. The guys were making all the plays. It made my job pretty easy, Harvey is 1-0 with a 2.57 era since the trade to the Reds, there's still work to be done, it's a long season, Harvey said. There's a lot left and to do, and I think these last three have been really good steps for me, I'm just excited to keep it going.